Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're continuing the saga of the K31 trigger here. And uh, big thanks to Robert Monska on Swiss Rifle Collectors Facebook group. Um, he's a gunsmith, I believe, based in Switzerland who knows these rifles very well. Um, and between him and uh, I think it was Dave, uh, they posted some info that uh, really, really helped out. Um, one was a graphic, which I'll, I'll show right here. The prevailing uh, thought was that the, the sear right here on the trigger um, was not high enough. So when I was pulling the trigger, eh, it's sort of hard to do, but when I was pulling the trigger and the, the sear was coming down, the sear was essentially starting out too low. So it wasn't able to contact this rocker um, or cam, I guess you'd say, on or right here, I guess is the cam, um, on the bottom of the receiver and hit that second stage. So. Apparently this is like a Swiss Arsenal thing. Um, these triggers have to be adjusted, so maybe the trigger was replaced at some point and just never adjusted to the gun. Um, so referring again to the, the graphic from earlier, right here in this little pocket, um, it's marked A on the figure. And you can remove some material from this pocket um, because it rides on this cross pins, roll pin right here. So removing material from here effectively moves the sear up uh, in the receiver. And let me pop the trigger back in here real quick. All right, it's been on. All right. So now it's fairly easy to hit that second stage. Nice clean pull, hit the wall right there, very repeatable. Don't have to be real ginger with it. And then a, a nice break and very repeatable. Either by pulling the cocking piece or actually cycling the action. So, very nice, that's, that's kind of how it should be. Still a little light sometimes, but I can still pretty re reliably hit that wall. That's, that's the important thing there. All right, so, the, I guess the, really the way that I was able to track this down, um, in addition to their help, was just to make sure before I started removing material from the trigger here, instead of pushing, like in the last video, I was pushing forward on this cocking piece or even kind of pulling back, giving it some backward pressure. It wasn't the axial pressure that was doing it. It was the radial that I was introducing. So what I did was I pushed down this direction on the cocking piece before I modified anything. And just very slight pressure down and that gave me the trigger that I wanted um, and it's much easier to control the direction of force here when you're pushing down as to pulling out with the finger and all that so that made it very apparent that what I needed to do was remove a little material from the trigger there so that got it um, huge thanks to Robert Monska um, to Pierre to uh, Dave and everybody else that weighed in on the threads, um, looks like this trigger works the way it's designed and hopefully we'll have a pretty good shooter. I'm actually going to get out of the range this afternoon, this evening, and uh, shoot some groups with it. So, see how it goes. So, here's the results of uh, today's shooting with the K31. Pretty happy with this. The This target is from 100 yards. So, the first three shots I took were off to the left pretty good. Um, made a slight adjustment on the front post for windage. Um, got lucky, got it dead on. The next five shots I got are, uh, they're a decent group, but they're low. Um, they're circled in green there. And the remainder of the shots, once I figured out I needed to hold up a little bit, uh, the remainder of the shots are circled in red. Um, and the, the most interesting thing, the thing I'm most happiest about, are the last three shots there. And they're just dead center of the bullseye. They're circled in yellow. Um, and those were just one, two, three in a row, um, which was great. It was the last three shots or last uh, three rounds I had in the box, and they, they stacked right up in there perfectly. Um, the ammo I was using is the uh, it's commercial Privy Partisan. Um, it's not the GP11 stuff, so there actually is no elevation adjustment on the K31 sights. Uh, you just kind of got to hold over a bit uh, for, uh, for different ammo and stuff. I do want to get my hands on some GP11 and see how the sights, uh, see how the elevation works out with GP11. Um, but yeah, that's uh, 
pretty solid results for a first range trip out of a uh, surplus rifle. Pretty happy with this.